I interned with Ingenious Design in Prairie Village, Kansas. Um, at Ingenious, I did a lot of verification testing as well as um, some risk factor management kind of stuff. I did a little bit of work on an ignition interlock device testing, um, which is that thing that you blow into if you have a DUI and they need you to take a um, test before you start your car. I also did some work on a device that's an external female catheter, which will be used in home, mostly home and hospice settings. I got to work as an instrumentation and controls engineer at CRB. And while I was there, I was placed on four different projects. Um, some that were very simple, involving uh, clean water for IV bags, and others that had seven different gases combined in a bioreactor. And so I was in charge of working with the other engineers on the project and uh, figuring out and specking the instruments that we used in the system. A lot of what I had to do was go through and uh, find where connections were to um, the bioreactor they were needing. So um, for biomedical engineering, the way uh, it was able to relate there is that uh, CRB works with a lot of pharmaceutical companies in trying to um, develop and create the um, pharmaceuticals that um, pharmacists and doctors need and are inventing. And so uh, I got to be a part of designing the machinery behind that as well as uh, how they're going to produce it by connecting the instruments with the pipes and whatnot. A lot of the things my internship taught me were uh, interdisciplinary kind of things like how biomedical engineering fits within the categories of mechanical engineering and electrical engineering and industrial engineering and industrial design um, and how those things kind of all mesh together. Every single person at this uh, internship genuinely wanted to see me succeed. They wanted to see me grow and excel because ultimately what they wanted was for me to work for their company. And so because of that, they taught me all the skills that they were doing so that I could then be proficient in it, even if it took them an extra 30 minutes to an hour to explain it. When I was looking for internship experiences, I found programs in Pennsylvania, in Michigan, in California. There was a couple I saw in China um, that I had considered applying to. I ended up staying in the Midwest because it was closer to home. Um, but there are a ton of opportunities all over the country and even internationally if that's where people are hoping to go.